Wealth starts from the mind. Want to be wealthy? Then you have to start thinking like the rich. The first step is to set financial goals. How much do you hope to have gathered a year from now? How about five years from now? Pick the number. Great. Now, if you hope to see even a snippet of that sum, you have a super rich mindset. How can I start thinking like a millionaire? By following these easy steps, you will build a wealthy and fulfilling life. Ten. Never hesitate to take what you want. Too many people are shy to express their desires and take action on the things that they desire. Whenever you have a goal in mind that you want to achieve, stop thinking. I doubt that I can ever accomplish this. I'll just play safe. Start thinking. I can do it, and I will do it, and I will do it. Millionaires play to win, not to avoid defeat. Don't be too timid to make your dreams come true, even if it means stepping into the spotlight. Instead, muster the courage to make it happen. Always keep in mind that you are in charge of your own fate. You can achieve anything if you work hard enough for it. So don't hesitate. We aren't saying that you have to act like a selfish jerk. We are only saying that you need to be more confident and sincere with yourself. There is a large pot of unclaimed gold in the center of the table. So there's no use struggling to grab off others. There's enough to go around. So if you want some, claim it. Nine. Set strategic goals. Only lottery winners become rich on the wings of suddenly. If you don't establish clear goals, it's practically impossible to do anything. Setting reasonable expectations for yourself will help you achieve your goals. Don't try to get wealthy quickly or even slowly. Aim at building and growing your wealth steadily. In addition. It is not enough to set goals. You need to make sure that your goal is strategic. A goal without a realistic follow-up plan is not a strategic goal. For example, say you wish to earn your first million dollars. What sort of goals would you establish to get there? Or if you're starting at a break, even point earning just enough to cover a few splurges here and there, but nothing more. In such a situation, having ten thousand dollars in the bank in a year can be your aim for the first year. Although it might be a tidbit difficult, it is not impossible. After setting a goal, the next move should be to determine the actions you will take in order to accomplish that goal. This is what makes it strategic. In light of this, you might want to check to see if you and your boss can agree on a pay raise or if there was a better paying position available. Although you may feel at ease in your current position, familiarity stifles advancement. Also, you might possess additional abilities unrelated to your job that can help increase your income and monetize, like creating websites for others at a fee. Cutbacks should be considered if this still isn't enough to earn money required to save ten thousand dollars annually. Do you own a collection of Nick Nacks that someone else would adore? Put them up for sale. You can also consider making your own lunch to save the ten bucks you spend daily on lunch. With a Strategic mindset like this, there is no goal you'll ever set that you won't be able to achieve. Eight people with a super rich mindset see money as a tool. This is why you need to start saving money. Millionaires often live a frugal lifestyle because they understand that the ultimate worth of money is found in investment. If you choose to let your money work for you instead of you working for it, you'll be really wealthy. That five hundred dollars you plan to use to treat yourself to a new iPad. Will bring larger returns by investing it in the stock.、Mm -hmm. If you are smart enough to choose the correct stocks, your money might even double in value in one short year. The stock market isn't the only investment option that exists. You can invest your money into real estate and your own education as well. This leads us to the next point: seven. Invest in yourself. This is one of the most profitable investments you can ever make. It is widely believed that learning ends once we exit the educational system. Others might, but yours shouldn't. Successful people are always evolving and learning something new by the day. Before he turned twenty, Warren Buffett read at least one hundred books on investing. Little wonder why he is a billionaire today. Want to be like him? Then don't stop learning. COVID new abilities. Learn all you can about the thing you are interested in. You'd be shocked at how frequently seemingly useless abilities can turn out to be very helpful under the appropriate circumstances. Six, think no small thoughts. Think big. Even though we always suggest that you begin your financial journey by setting modest goals, you should still have a larger objective in mind. If it is a company, for instance, starting it and making it successful should be your main objective. 
just focus on investing your way to millions of dollars with only research as an additional job. Not attaining a significant set objective is not shameful. If you run a firm with an annual profit goal of $1 million and only make $200,000, you're still far ahead of the majority of individuals. You're still far ahead of the majority of individuals. In case you fail, you'll be over the moon regardless, so you have nothing to lose. Shoot for the stars. 5. Be positive. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Now, you have to keep a positive outlook. According to the law of attraction, opposites attract. In other words, comparable thoughts and behaviors are attracted to our own. Positive things will keep happening if you keep thinking positively. You must allow your mind to embrace optimistic ideas of prosperity and abundance. If you focus on the bad, you'll become disheartened and give up on your goals. Start by erasing negative thoughts from your mind. Replace them with better thoughts like, I will be stinking rich. I am perfect. I will succeed. The path to prosperity is a bit rocky and it won't get any simpler if you start digging up potholes on your own path. You must be totally certain that you will succeed for Reorientate your mind to see that money is very easy. The average person thinks that being rich is difficult, but the rich think otherwise. The general public has long believed that wealthier people are smarter, luckier, or better educated. Of course, none of this is true in any way. The only difference between the wealthy and the average is that they are aware that ideas and problem. Solving lead to financial success. The larger the solution, the greater the reward. It may not be straightforward, but making money is simple. There is no secret to becoming wealthy, yet the majority of people never attempt it because of this restricting belief. 3. Believe that being wealthy is your right. While the typical person thinks being wealthy is a privilege, the wealthy population understands that in a capitalist society, they have the right to be wealthy if they're prepared to provide enormous value for others. The general public believes that only a lucky few can become wealthy. The wealthy believe they have a claim to money if they improve or make others' lives easier. The middle class is motivated to work by the wealthy elite because of this difference in mentality. You need to take the mentality of the masses and burn it to ashes and embrace the mindset of the rich because it fosters wealth. 2. Don't be too afraid of failure to rise. When it comes to money and investing, nobody is 100 accurate. Sometimes you just have to take a calculated risk. You have to stop being afraid of failing. Feel free to take risks, experiment, or try new things, something. When you notice a problem, try to come up with solutions almost immediately. The wealthy are unconcerned by failure, since they have never failed as long as there are lessons in life to be learned. Because they desire to get better and try to be more successful, they are occasionally willing to take a chance on themselves. You've undoubtedly had success in the past, but chances are that things didn't always go as planned before those successes as well. If you take a look back at each one, you'll see the lessons you had to learn in order to succeed. 1. Kill your appetite for immediate gratification. Billionaires are always more than prepared to forgo short-term comfort in order to pursue long-term financial independence. Why? Because they understand that building riches requires patience, perseverance, and hard work. People in the middle class, on the other hand, seek immediate gratification. People who are wealthy and extremely wealthy have mastered the art of delayed gratification. Do not let the feeling of working hard but receiving little in return discourage you from concentrating on your goals in life. Your life cannot be changed in a week. If you don't achieve your personal development objectives as quickly as you'd want, that's acceptable. The fact that something doesn't always happen when you want it to doesn't imply that it will never happen. Good things take time. Which of these mindsets do you plan to implement to become wealthy, setting strategic goals, or being more positive? Let us know in the comments section.